This is the uh, Yuli Phony. I thought it was ULEF1. This phone has not even been released yet. They told us that this is the world's most rugged smartphone. And they wanted us to put it through our series of tests, which are now recognized internationally. So. Yes. Random machine shop test. How strong is this phone? <sighs> oh. oh. Looks like that might be some type of phone. And screen protector. A blue screen. Manual. Mm -hmm warranty card a blue tool they include a tool for you to pull your phone apart we have a uh, charger that will not work here and we've got some dongles series of dongles now the phone Ooh, oh, it looks like it has a case on it but that's just the phone so you don't actually need to buy a case so this phone is saving you Tens of dollars. Yes, that is correct. Uh, eight core processor, a dual rear camera, 21 megapixel. We're gonna have to test that later. Face unlock and fingerprint. In case you lose one of those things. Six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of ROM. Wireless charge, a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So uh, this thing should be able to run for like six hours. At least. It's got IP69K and IP68 proof and Android 8.1 Oreos. There's a warning right here on the phone. It says, after the test, please dry off the speaker and make sure it's completely dry before using. Otherwise, this may cause some noises. Please don't do the waterproof test if the phone was broken or after the destructive test. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't have the full details, but <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to learn more. Here, just uh, stand over here. There you go, now use the phone. <laughs> Waterproof. <laughs> uh, oh. Like, if you can withstand water like this is the grossest water you'll find. There's got to be some pretty nasty acids. Nope, never mind. This is all, like, <laughs> EPA approved. <laughs> How deep is that, Dan? I don't know. Do you remember which one I dropped it in? Yeah. You've only got like 30 minutes, I think, to retrieve it before it dies. Would you look at that? Careful, that phone might be slippery now that it's all wet. Might be. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, it's gonna be broken. Pristine. Advertised features of this phone on their website is that it has a UV index sensor on the back of it. And I believe it's that thing right there. So you can point that up into the sky. It'll read the UV index and tell you whether or not you need sunscreen because this is a feature everybody needs every day. No UVs in here. Point it at the light. These very powerful fluorescent lights. Non-UV, zero. What do we have that can create UV around in here? Um. Look at this one down here, it was going crazy. <laughs> For like half a second it said like protective something. It looks like the warning that came up on the screen was protective measures cannot measure. So I think we can unanimously agree that the UV sensor is fully functioning and working. And welding is bad for you. <laughs> yes. Ooh, let's go to beauty mode. Beauty. Mm hmm. And. High beauty. It's quite possibly the most beautiful <laughs> picture. That was at maximum beauty. Oh, wow. Yeah, that really. It actually did a lot. Earlier today, we went to Instagram to ask you guys about some of the tests we should put this new phone through, and these are some of your suggestions. You guys should. And then. <laughs> uh, put it in magma. Do we have any of that in stock? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Put it on a drone and drop it from a tall height and then lick it. 
You're weird, Paige. <laughs> you should wash it down the toilet and smash it with your Humvee and let your kids step on it. Cut it in half with giant wire cutters. Shoot it into a giant gummy bear. Drop it in a bathtub full of water. Shoot a homeless person out of the pressure cannon <laughs> at the phone. Whoa, Thomas. <laughs> Scratch test, drop test, lick test, water jet test, and then lick test again. And hey, we can do a lot of those ones. That's a test I can get behind. This phone came with a screen protector on it already, so that's actually an extra that they give you. Are we doing like stabs or scratches? Start with, start with scratches. Most people just scratch their... Oh, oh. I think that is sufficiently scratched. How are you feeling about that, Dan? <laughs> Did I scratch through the screen protector onto the phone? Oh my gosh. You did not. Now do you want me to scratch on the glass? It's supposed to be one of the strongest glasses available. Do it. Oh my gosh, it's like ice skating. It's so buttery smooth. I actually went ice skating this morning. <laughs> Is this very similar to that? It was not as enjoyable as I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> similar to this. Very faint something. Oh yeah, I think I got a glimpse of it. Next on the, that list was a good lick test. Like, real extra sloppy. I think somebody did say bite it too, so it's like bite down on it pretty good. I've got expensive dental work. <laughs> but it looks like it is lick proof. Let's say you're in the bathroom using your phone. Mm -hmm. You finish doing your business. Because who doesn't use their phone in the bathroom? <laughs> you finish you doing your business. Okay, got you it. You stand up. Got it. You turn around. Okay, I've been there. Your phone is slippery for some reason. Unrelated. <laughs> okay, totally unrelated. And you drop it. Where does it go? To the floor? No, worse. Into the cleanest toilet you've ever seen. It actually used to be a lot worse than this. Yeah. <laughs> I... We uh, retrieved the phone through unspeakable means, and it has been cleaned-ish. Rinsed. <laughs> okay, phone is on the ground, in position. Just drive straight forward. <laughs> Did it make it? Ah, uh, not so much. Huh. Not Humvee proof. No, but that wasn't advertised. Yeah, so that's kind of our bad. Is that the home screen? Not quite, it hasn't unlocked. Look at the camera though, I don't know that it can see me. Hmm. All the abuse. <laughs> Come on, sweetie, it's me, open up. Well, we've got to do one last test. Uh, so I was reading earlier about the IP69 K protection uh, and it says that it can protect against high pressure water and uh, high temperature and high temperature water so I think that's the closest you're gonna get to water jet proof there's only one way to find out hey look a board's all ready <laughs> you got it Woo. It's sludgy. Does the screen still turn on? Uh, less barely. Less bright. <laughs> I think your backlight went out. Oh nope, there it is. We're we're back in business. Get some kindling, Dan. <laughs> that is a smell I've not smelled in quite a while. There you go. One. No, that's still not fire hot. 
It is slowly kill you with toxic fumes hot though, so. Turns out it takes a lot to destroy a Eulophone armor six. Like you have to have a Humvee and a water jet. So I think this fared better than most of our other items we've shop tested. It's possible I might be the only person with a Humvee and a water jet, so. It's, you're probably safe. Thanks to Yuli Phone for sponsoring this video and providing us with the phones. Uh, the This phone that we tested actually isn't even out yet. It's available for pre-order. We've got a link down in the description. And if you order it now, before the 20th, you get a $100 off. That's one whole Benji off of the price of this phone. So click on the description down in the link, check out this phone. Pre-order it if you want the most rugged phone in the world. I'm the most rugged human in the world. This is a five o'clock shadow. <laughs>